Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for a bedroom refresh. Today's video, I'm just going to be started off with cleaning in general. I had a whole pile of laundry to do and then I'm going to do the normal cleaning that I do in here and then a little bit of extra stuff to show you guys how you can refresh your bedroom or another space without spending so much money. So I know the noise out there right now on YouTube seems to be like shop with me's and decor hauls and all that stuff, which I do from time to time as well. But sometimes it can get overwhelming to always feel the pressure of needing to buy the latest Studio McGee or just keep up to date with all these trends. So I decided since I'm in a season where if you are new here, um, I am in my second trimester, I am pregnant with my second baby and I'm in a season where it's time to save money. I have my gender reveal coming up, which will be the very next video, by the way, decorating and um, also the reveal at the end. But yeah, I have that coming up, the baby shower and a baby, which is not <laughs> um, cheap. So um, we are going to be refreshing the bedroom and redecorating, but without spending too much money. I'm going to show you guys a couple ways that you can make your bedroom feel new for the summer while saving your money this summer anyway i feel like it's the time to to be outdoors and just enjoy all the summer activities and your children are off from school and it's just a time to be out there not overly worried about decor but also making sure that when you come home your spaces feel fresh and new um, I like to go all out for fall and for Christmas because you're indoors so you want to enjoy your space a little bit more than the summer months at least in New York where you get all the seasons but one of the ways that I decided to refresh my bedroom is to refresh my furniture so I have this um, bed frame from I think it's Joss and Main and by far it's one of the most expensive bed frames I've ever had and most luxurious headboard and it's made out of linen and a couple of months ago I realized that it had a bunch of these fuzzy little hairs and I was like yep this needs a fabric shaver um so I bought one from Hobby Lobby and that is what I'm doing just refreshing my furniture along with washing all my sheets of course and this made it feel like I had a brand new bed frame you guys will see the before and after in a bit but it's also one of those things that I knew I wanted to do for a while but I've been putting off so what better time than the summer to save a little bit on redecorating and focus more on refreshing your space so that the rest of the year as well you feel like you have new furniture and a refresh space and you just feel like you're starting from scratch again turbulence i'm praying on the weekdays drowning in the weekends all the shallow shallow friends are mine i got the champagne dripping from inside my spine oh, credit cards to buy my time you know i never as you can see it made a huge difference to just go ahead and take that extra time to kind of care for my furniture a little bit um and it felt so good and then of course I washed my sheets which is something you should obviously periodically be doing but it also adds to the whole refreshing whenever you're refreshing a space so definitely had to wash those and put some of my scent beads so that we can fall asleep that night in a refreshed bedroom with clean smelling sheets and it felt really nice but yeah I'm just gonna do that and then clean up a bit do some of the normal stuff 
and we'll get a little bit to the decorating and the other tips that I have later on but yes you guys I know I just kind of quickly threw in the gender reveal thing um earlier on in the video but actually as we speak the gender reveal is only a couple days away and I am so excited but so nervous. I am going to be excited either way whether it's a boy or a girl. I am leaning more towards a girl just because I never had a sister and I want my baby girl to have a sister and I also want her, I mean I want my husband to be a girl dad. Like I just think that's so cute and I don't know, I can't imagine him with a boy after seeing him with a girl. I don't know, maybe you guys have similar experiences once once you have a girl or a boy first. You can't imagine having the other gender. But either way, I'm going to be excited because, yeah, having a girl, he'll be a girl dad and she'll have a sister. But having a boy will be a completely different experience and I feel like it will kind of finish our little family like you know mom dad boy or girl it's like the perfect little family so either way I'm gonna be happy and this time I can honestly say that I have no idea what it is this time there's so many reasons to think it's a girl so many reasons to think it's a boy and I just don't know the first time I kind of had a really big hunch that it would be a girl and it was and this time I'm absolutely clueless so go ahead again it'll be the next video and leave your final guesses a few of you guys left some guesses in the previous video and it was kind of mixed but go ahead and leave your final guesses of whether you guys think it'll be a boy or a girl down below but now that i refresh my bed i'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the windows for spring again just to add a little bit of extra refreshing to the bedroom than I would normally do on my day to day cleaning. Please do not bother to come up here. I'm just dancing with my girls. Yeah. We want to drink and have some fun. The music is loud, the night is young. We want to dance until the sun goes up. But we could have some fun, baby. Let's go. Nothing serious, baby. Not how we could have some fun. Then, of course, you gotta clean and get those vacuum lines, which that's what I'm doing now. And yes, my carpet corner is folded again. I will be taking care of that. Again, just another thing. These small little things that you procrastinate on all year round are things that you can do when refreshing a space to kind of make it feel new. So I read somewhere, I, tr I tried multiple things with you guys already. Um, but I read somewhere that if you dampen it a little bit, put a towel over the corner and then iron it, that's the good old fashioned way to get a carpet corner down. But I bet you that this will be back up in another month or so, but for now it worked. And if you guys have any permanent solutions to a rising carpet corner, then please leave any suggestions down below. What to do now I'm in the corner and watching you smile. Watching you smile And I can't get over you Then for decor, I did two simple changes. I had this vase from Hobby Lobby that I repurposed from somewhere else in the house and as well as these small rosettes. I don't know, they kind of look like baby's breath but they're from Hobby Lobby and I had two different colors and I stuck that in there 
to kind of give the nightstand a little bit I didn't have greenery on here for a long time and the flowers just make you feel like spring and summer and I feel like it changed the whole look of the nightstand and the bed area I'm in love. There's something So many times I wanted to put my arms around you just to Second small change I made was again taking out these winter greenery that I had from Christmas. I haven't redecorated this space since Christmas, but I had some leftover hydrangeas from when I redecorated for spring and I'm still loving them. And I so, so I just mixed them in with the greenery that I already had just to give it a new look and make it kind of like a little bouquet. And just adding the, these two flower arrangements to different parts of their room really made their room feel more springy and more summery and just refreshed. The only money that I spent today was adding these two gold candlesticks you guys will see in a few that I got from Hobby Lobby and I did get them half off. But after this, um, I also just added some Febreze and a Gain scent, which is like a laundry detergent to my curtains and to the rug and it just made the whole room feel refreshed so i really hope you guys enjoy today's video you can make a room feel refreshed by just adding a few pieces of decor that you can repurpose from another part of your house or buy one or two things just to um make it more summery or springy or whatever look you're going for and then cleaning your space really good, tackling those things that you've been procrastinating on and adding some scents and just making everything feel, smell, and look fresh. And you have a refresh space without spending money. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you guys some ideas and motivation to not break bank and kind of just work with what you have if you're feeling that pressure. I will see you guys in my next video. God willing, as always, remember to leave your final votes down below. My, and if I